All right, so good evening once again and welcome to the meeting today. Today we are going to look at NFTs, okay? How to make money with NFTs, how to make money flipping NFTs. That is what we are going to look at today, all right? I believe you might, be, you, you might have been hearing of NFTs. Some of you might have tried it out already, okay? Some of you might have, let's say maybe you might be confused on what to do and the rest. But today, just with Binance, okay? You don't really need to go stress yourself, struggling on how to get NFTs and the rest. You can just be flipping NFTs on Binance on a daily basis and be making money with it, all right? And be making money with it. So um, NFTs, metaverses are the next phase of the internet. So uh, just like Bitcoin started sometime in, you know, crypto and Bitcoin started sometime in 2009, not a lot of persons pay attention to it, okay? Not a lot of persons paid attention to it. When the internet started, the same thing. Today it is NFTs and people are looking at it. And, oh, is it just this drawing? Is it, is it just this write-up? Is it just these things? What is it for? What does it mean? But my concern here, okay, you may not like the pictures, you may not like the animations, but my concern here is the money that is involved. There's a whole lot of money in NFTs. And if you know how to, you know, um, play around it, okay, you can make a lot from it, all right? So what I'm sharing with you this evening is just how to flip NFTs on Binance and make money with that. If you have a Binance account already, you are good to go. If not, you can sign up for a Binance account today and start flipping NFTs, okay? So if I come in here to the Binance website, all right, to assess the NFT page, to assess the Binance NFT page, you see where it says NFT, and then you see this bash beside it that is saying new, okay? That is what you do. You go ahead and click on that. So we'll go ahead and click on NFTs. And when we click on NFTs, it opens up on the NFT homepage for us. Okay. So if I go to the NFT homepage, all right. So once we come in here to the NFT homepage, okay. Once we are here um, on the NFT homepage, you see that for today alone, this is what Binance has traded. Okay. On the NFTs alone, it means that people are actually engaging with this. Okay over $42 million that has been traded. This is the daily trading volume and this keep continuing to increase, okay? So today's sales alone are about 122,000, all right? And then you have total collection of 700, um, seven, 770 plus, okay? Of collections, different collections that you can see here on the Binance NFT pages, okay? So if I scroll them, this is how the Binance NFT page looks like. And one thing I love about Binance is that they have done the hard work for you, okay? They have done the hard work for you. I will share with, with you that in a moment, okay? Um, if you come in here, they will, you see this recommendation, okay? Uh, Binance is recommended, this is recommended collection. And this recommendation is coming based on the performance of this collection. The recommendation is coming based on the performance of this collection, for instance, these Star Shark NFTs that you're seeing here, okay? You see that the, the NFT is um, a premium. I will explain that what premium collections are, okay? When you see this badge, it means that this person is being vetted uh, or is being endorsed by Binance, okay? This person is endorsed by Binance, meaning that you can trust and do business with this particular creator, okay? So on the, the Star Shark NFTs here, you see the volume traded, okay? This is the volume traded over um, 385, um, $385,000, okay? And then the flow price for this particular NFT, the flow price is seven USD. So here on the recommendation of um, what Binance is giving you, you can click on more and see all that Binance is recommended for you, okay? You can click on more and see all the recommendations they are giving to you. All right, the flow price, the more I go, the, the more the flow price become more expensive. Okay, this one is a bit um, bigger because the flow price is around 620, okay? And I believe when this started, when it started trading on Binance, it was not up to 620, but as time goes on, it continues to grow, okay? One thing I want you to understand about NFTs is that NFT is not crypto, it's not Bitcoin as per se, now you see the price today is at 21,000 and then tomorrow it is, it is 15,000. NFTs are not like that. NFT is like, it starts small and then it continues to grow that way, okay? You can only invest in NFT that is not profitable when that NFT is not the real NFT, all right? 
So it continues to grow. It continues to grow. All right. So um, this is about you know the recommended um, NFTs that Binance is recommending to you. And then when you scroll down here, you see where it say top collection. Okay. These top collections are collected based um, on their performance in the past seven days. All right. As you can see here. So if I come in here, we have the NFTs and then we have the mystery bosses. Okay. So you can buy mystery bosses when you open it. Whatever you have in it is yours. Okay, if you have more than one NFT inside the mystery box, it is yours and it's listed for sale and so on. But let me just focus on the NFT tab, okay? Here on the NFT, we have, um, after the recommendation, we have the top collections, okay? Top collections are from all of these um, collections you are seeing here. You see the volume traded, okay? This one has increased with over plus 91%, okay? Maybe in the past seven days or thereabout, all right? And then you see the flow price. You see the flow price. You can click on more here to see more on these top collections. Okay. Then after that, you have here a section that is recommended creators. Okay. Binance has specifically pointed at these creators that you can come in here and actually, you know, buy based on their performance. That is why they are recommended for you right here. Okay. So you can come in here and search for this. Um, just click on more and see more on the creators whosoever you want to go with any of the project that you like, you can go ahead and subscribe to that and start, you know, flipping those particular NFTs from that particular creator for, 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 for profit. Okay. Then here on the featured NFT, we have the trending NFTs that have been trended today, the NFT that are related to gaming. Okay. And then you have today's peak. All right. Today's peak will tell you um, basically those, what people are actually engaging with as of today. All right, so you can just come in here and use all of these specifications or this categorization that Binance is giving you and just pick some of these, okay? You see that this one is just um, 0 0.9, which is around 200 as at the time of making, having this meeting with you, we have four BNB, one BNB and so on. So you can buy some of these that you are seeing here and then flip it for sale, okay? So if I come to the marketplace, once you click on the marketplace, it brings us here. All right, once you click on the marketplace on the NFT, it brings us here, all right? So here on the marketplace, we can just browse through, all right? So we can browse through, let's say, if you want to, these are recently listed, okay? These are recently listed NFTs. If you want to um, in, um, go with the one that are ending soon, okay? The price from, if you want to sort for the NFTs from lower price to the highest price or highest price to lower price, okay, you can go ahead and use this filter here to, you know, search for all of the NFTs that you want, okay? And then the collections, you have all of these different collections here. These are all of the different collections that you have here that you can go ahead and click on each of these collection and see the one you want to key into. Then we'll have collection type. Now, this is what I, I, I mentioned initially. The collection type here, we have the premier and then we have the standard, okay? The difference between these two is that the premier itself are those NFTs that are created in collaboration with Binance, okay? Meaning that Binance is dealing directly with these particular creators who are creating these NFTs. And one of those premier is this one. If I hover over it, they tell you um, that this NFT is part of a premier collection, meaning that Binance um, is, is aware of this creator, okay? Binance has endorsed this creator and they have given this creator this badge you are seeing here. So these are all premier um, creators or NFTs, okay? These are all premier. When you see this, uh, you know, check mark on them, they are all premier um, NFTs, okay? And then the ones you don't see this check mark on it, they are the standard ones, okay? Personally, I prefer going with the premier, all right? When I say, well, it all depends on what you want. You can see NFT as low as four BUSD. That is approximately five BUSD, okay? You can see NFT as low as three BUSD. You can see NF NFT as low as 44, okay? And as high as a thousand plus or thereabout. It all depends on the NFTs you want to go into, okay? So you can come to the marketplace there and, you know, search if it is the one that are recently listed or you come back to the home page of the NFT. Okay. You come back to the home page of the NFT and then use these recommendations that Binance is giving you. Okay. If, if for instance, I want to go with, you know, the top collections, um, I can go with this one. Let me go with this, uh, the Quantum Ape. 
Okay, the flow price is 45. All right, let me go with the quantum Abe and open up that. All right, so these are the quantum Abe's. Uh, okay, you see a description of what the quantum Abe's are all about. Okay, you can follow them on Instagram or Twitter or so. Okay, so when I come in here, you see the flow price, you see the volume, you see the latest price, and then you see the number of items. It means that under this particular NFT, okay, this particular collection, there are 100, 962 um, items here, okay? 962, all of these items that are here, they are up to 962. Now the flow price for this particular NFT is 42. What does the flow, flow, flow price means? And this has increased by over 28.57%, okay? So if you hover over this um, icon here, the help icon here, you see, they tell you that the lowest fixed price in the marketplace. So this is the current price. If you want to buy any of this NFT, this is the current price of what you can buy any of these NFTs that are here for, okay? That is the lowest price of which you can buy. It can go higher than that, but the flow price is the lowest. The lowest you can buy right now, okay, is 42. Like, like you can see on this one here, this is, um, okay? This is um, 177 BNB and the rest, okay? And then this is 52 BUSD. So all of these that you see here, the lowest is actually 42 um, BUSD or $42, okay? You see this one alone is around $600, okay? And then you scroll down, you can, this is around 200 and so on. But the lowest you can see right now, which is what the flow price is telling you now is $42, okay? The flow price, that means that that is the lowest you can see in this particular category of NFTs, okay? And then the volume that has been traded, okay? This is the volume traded in the marketplace for the series, for this particular series that's traded over $698,000, all right? And then the latest price, the latest price for this um, particular NFT is um, $49, okay? And then they have over 962 items here. So you can go ahead. Now, when you come in here to the filter, okay? You can now start searching for a particular NFTs you want to go, okay? If it is the one you pay with BNB, you can go ahead and sort for BNB, okay? If you want to buy with Ethereum, you can go ahead and check this and it will give you all of the ones that you can pay with Ethereum. Then if you want to pay with BUSD, you can go ahead and put that here, okay? If there is a specific price that you are looking for, you can go ahead and input that price here, okay? Let's say I want to put anything from $1 or then about to $50, okay? You go ahead and put that here. All right, and after that you click on okay and it will sort all of that for you, all right? So if I see any of these NFTs that I like, um, let's say this one, I don't like that one. $600 is too much for me. Um, which one will I take? 70, okay, this one is nine, no, I don't like this one. Let me go with this $85 one, all right? So if I click on this um, NFT, let's say I want to buy that particular NFT, Okay, so let's wait for it to load up. All right, that is loading up. Okay, so now if I click on that particular NFT, this is what it's going to cost us to buy to pay for this. Okay, and we are going to pay with BUSD. Okay, so it means that for me to buy this NFT, I'm going to pay 85 BUSD to buy this particular NFT. All right, so and um, then um, the next thing I need to do is I can either buy now. Okay. Now you have two options of buying when you want to flip NFTs on Binance, okay? I can either click on the buy now. Buying now means that once I pay, this NFT becomes my own, all right? Then I can unlist it for sale or I can make an offer. For instance, if the 82, $85 is too much for me, I can go ahead and make an offer, all right? By clicking on make an offer, all right? So when I click on make an offer, I can say, oh, can you sell this for one BUSD, okay? Okay, or they are saying a man must be higher than one BUSD. Let me say one BUSD 60, 64, which is what I have on my account currently, okay? Can you sell this for one BUSD, <laughs> all right? So I'll go ahead. When do you want this to expire? You get, go ahead, okay? You can select when you want it to expire. Let me say the end of the month and then click on okay, okay? So once I do that, I'll go ahead and click on confirm, all right? And if, for instance, the, that is processing, okay? The offer has been submitted. So I'll just wait for the person. If I want to view the offer, I go ahead and click on view offer, okay? Let me just close this. If, for instance, at the end of the day, nobody is offering anything for this, 
and the person decides to sell it to me at one BUSD, then I'm, I'm qualified for it. Okay, but if I don't want to go through that process of offering, so all I just need to do is just to click on buy now, okay? I just click on buy now, then buy this NFT at 85 right now, I can buy it and then list it back for sale, all right? I can buy it right now and list it back for sale. So let it, um, it's still loading, all right? So once it pops up this way, all I just need to do, it would have been just buy now, okay? But because I have insufficient BUSD right now, I can't be able to buy this, all right? I have insufficient BUSD, so I cannot um, buy this. All, all I just need to do is to deposit, once you deposit BUSD, and the money you're using to trade on the NFT marketplace has to be in your spot wallet, whether it is the BUSD, the BNB, or the Ethereum, all of them has to be in your um, spot wallet, okay? And then you just go ahead and buy it, and this NFT becomes your own, okay? Once you buy the NFT, you can now place it back for sale, okay? You can place it back for sale, and placing it back for sale doesn't mean that you're going to sell it at 85. As you can see on this category, okay, on the quantum um, um, ape here, okay, you see that some of the NFTs are selling for 600 BUSD, okay? Some are selling for 200 BUSD. Some are selling for as high as nine BNB. Okay, nine BNB is around 2,000 plus. Okay, so you can just buy it and then list it out for sale. All right, as it's growing, this one is around the uh, zone I saw now. Okay, nine BNB is around 2,100 as with the current price right now in the market. Okay, 2,100 um, BUSD. Okay, just like that, and then you just list it for sale. All right. And then when somebody comes, just like I'm scrolling and buys your NFT, you have made profit from me, okay? So the same thing, I can come back again to the marketplace. Uh, okay, this is where I was. Okay, I think I opened another NFT collection here. Okay, the amazing uh, Dodge NFT. The amazing Dodge NFT, you see the description of the amazing Dodge NFT. Okay, the flow price there, which is the lowest, okay? You can buy here, you see that. This has actually increased drastically by 19% or thereabout. Okay, it's around 620. All right, 620. And the beautiful thing is that because I, I told you this is not Bitcoin, the price is always going higher and higher. There is every probability that you can buy this at C20 and still sell it higher than C20. There is every probability that you buy it at C20 and they have over 803 items here. Yeah? Okay. The last price, you can see, this is the last price. The last price, the latest price is around 688, okay? And they have traded over $283,000, all right? So you can come in here and um, let me load this. You see 588. Okay, this page is not loading up so that we'll look at how this looks like, okay? These are... Um, some of the pictures, the acts, works you should be looking at, okay? But you see that this is selling for 588, three Ethereum, okay? Three Ethereum is around 3,700, okay? 0 0.99 Ethereum, okay? This is 6,666 BUSD for just one NFT. And I believe this person, this person selling this right now bought this lower than even this flow price that we are looking at right now, okay? This person bought it lower than the flow price we are looking at and is selling it for over 6,000, okay? 6,000 plus. Oh, I'm even talking of 6,000. This is 66,000. This person is listing his own for 66,000 plus, okay? So NFT is something that you can go into, okay? You may not, when buying, you may not buy and sell immediately, but it does not expire. It doesn't expire, okay? This person that listed this for over 66,000, don't be surprised that before you know it now, this person would have sold this NFT that is listed here. Let me click on it, let it open up, let's see. Okay, so one thing I want you to note here, this is um, the, like the history, okay, of how this NFT, this is the person who minted the NFT. Okay, this person minted this NFT, and then this person, this John 2881, purchased this NFT this day, Okay, and the price this person purchased this NFT was 688 BUSD. This same NFT that this person is listing for 66,000 uh, BUSD, he bought this, he or she bought this at 60, 60, 60, um, 688 BUSD. Okay, so he bought this and is listing it for this amount. All right, so I don't know what is so special about this NFT, but 
in this space, people can do anything. Somebody can even come in here and make an offer at 66, okay? Somebody can even come in here and make an offer at 70,000 uh, BUSD. And they will buy this NFT from this person, okay? They will buy this NFT from this person and so on, all right? So uh, basically, that is just what I wanted to share from you. All I'm just saying is you can come in here to Binance, okay? Come to Binance, buy any of these NFTs. Okay, you see some that are lower than $2, $3, $4, and there about, buy them, okay? But one thing you want to do, what I personally do is that when I come to the homepage of the NFT, I go with the top collection, okay? Or I go with the trend in the NFT that is trending for that particular day, okay? So all of these categories that Binance has given you, is either you come with the recommended collections, okay? Or you go with the top collections, or if I scroll down here to where it says fee short NFTs, Okay, under features NFTs, you have NFTs that is trending, okay? The ones that are trending for today, you have NFTs that are related to gaming, okay? Then you have the NFTs that are today's peak, all right? So Binance actually categorize all these things and sorts that for you. If I click on the today's peak, it brings up everything that has been trending, okay? That people has been, you know, at buying today and the price is even cheaper. Look at this one. Okay, the Magot is going for $24, um, uh, okay? We have this one for $24, okay? This one for $31, $39, and so on. So if you like any of these, if you like any of the idea or design or the artwork or thereabout, you can go ahead and buy this. The same NFTs you buy for four BUSD. Don't be surprised, okay? You can list this NFT for a whole lot, okay? You can list the NFT for sale for a whole lot. All right, so basically that is all you need to know about a Binance NFT. This one is not about trading where you need to do technical analysis, okay? You can base your decision based on what Binance is giving you. What I do is either I go with the top collections or I go with the recommended creators, okay? These recommended creators, you can just go ahead and look at what they are currently doing. For instance, if I go with the NFT card, okay? And click on the NFT card, it takes you to their collections, you see what they are doing, you can now decide whether you want to, you know, buy um, from them, okay? Once you buy from them, that NFT is deposited into your wallet, and then you can now come and create and, and list your own NFT for sale. Okay, so good evening. Yes, good evening. Good evening, Mr. Dan, how are you today? I'm good, sir, and you? We thank the Lord. All right. Thank you for tonight's uh, presentation, sir. Oh, Actually, I, I have some NFT. I've been looking for the way to sell them. The, in the wallet that I have, it, I have listed it since, but uh, I don't know whether they are seeing it or not. Up to now, I never sell anyone. Is it possible to transfer it to Binance and list it uh, here? Where did you get the NFT from? I get it from uh, friends. He normally send me the NFT to claim through my engine wallet so the nft is in my engine wallet now when you uh, click on deposit the deposit allows you to deposit your nft um and the nft has to be under the binance smart chain network or the ethereum network ethereum. so these yes. are the two networks that binance has sent so if your nft is in any of this network then you can deposit it and list it there for sale all right. So if you have it there, okay. you can list it there for sale and, and 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 see what you can do with it. Otherwise, just do um, buy NFTs on Binance, flip it out for sale. Okay, uh, and so on. Okay. All right. Okay. So wait, wait. I have a question about the NFT. Go ahead. Uh, like, if we buy it, like, how long do, does it stay for if to sell? Approximately how long? Um, well, I can't categorically say that. Okay, the NFT I sold took me almost two months. Uh -huh. Okay, the NFT I, I sold took me almost two months. So I cannot categorically say 
that uh, that is why I say if you are searching for NFT, okay, you have to go with something that is trending, okay? Uh, because mm -hmm. once it, it is trending, it means that as you are buying and listing it for sale, there is every tendency that as people are coming into that particular um, um, collection, okay, mm -hmm. for those NFTs, they, they may end up buying yours, all right? So you want to go with what is trending and then go with some of the top collectors, creators in this field and buy from them because that is where that is where people uh, buy more from them. And then as they are buying, there's every probability that you probably sell uh, before. You can sell it in a day, you can sell it in a week, it can take up to two, three months and so on. Okay, so I cannot specifically say that this is how long it will take to um, to sell your NFT. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm near. I say, is there any trading fee attached to it? Yes, there is a is there... trading fee. There is a trading fee. As you can see, if you can see my screen, okay? Okay. If you can see yeah. my screen, you see that we have platform fee, which is 1%, okay? And yeah. then we have the royalty fee, which is 3%, okay? The royalty fee goes to the owner of this NFT, the creator of this NFT. All right, okay. and then the one percent fee is um, for Binance, okay, for using the Binance platform. So, whatever you transact here, okay, let's say you buy this NFT. When this NFT is sold, when you sell this NFT, three percent of this goes to the owner, the creator of this NFT, and then Binance one percent is what comes to to Binance. Okay, so that is so, almost factor all those things when taking it for selling exactly exactly but but the thing now is that for instance this one now will cost you around four percent okay because the creator now one beautiful thing about the nft is that this creator doesn't even need to be there as you are buying you are selling it the creator there's a reward that comes which is this reality fee okay that comes to the creator when someone some someone else buy from you and sell again the, this reward still comes to the creator okay so that is a beautiful thing that for those who are creating, who are creators, who are creating beautiful NFTs there. Yeah? Then for the platform itself, which is Binance, this 1% is there. So if I buy this NFT at 85 BUSD and I'm selling it at 1,000, so out of that 1,000 BUSD, I am sure that 4% will be deducted and it's only 4%, um, 1,000. When you remove 4% from 1,000, the remaining one is what comes to you, okay? Because one percent goes to Binance, three percent goes to the creator. Okay, so the remaining one becomes what you make in the in the space. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right. So if that is it, if there's no other question, um, thank you all for being here. Okay, I will probably make the recording available on YouTube. All right, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can go ahead and do that.